All right, so the next step is to talk to Anna Bray. So let's see what she has to say. Let's get to it. All right. Okay, okay. So we got a new step. Uh, they want to see how we use our power specifically. Let's check out the quest. Eventually. <laughs> how can I be of assistance? Uh, investigate energy signatures at the coordinates Rasputin sent, which is the Vostok visited. All right, so let's find out where the Vostok is. All right, so it's asking us to go to the Vostok, which is a crucible map on the Your European on Dead Zone, or EDZ. Uh, you can see right here under Winding Cove, uh, it's going to go ahead and list a place for us to go. So let's hop in. This is All where I get weird right. from. There's old Rasputin data associated with a few coordinates on this mountain. And I mean old. Dark Age. Huh. I didn't think he was active after the collapse. See what you can find. Simple enough, it even tells you that you're near one. There's it was a single exo. Why would he need all of this for just one? There's a warmind intelligence transcript associated with this spot. It references Siva. But it doesn't make sense to me. From what I knew, the Iron Lords went after Shotgun telemetry. All right, let's take a look here. Shotgun kills. Hmm. Well, I can only imagine it's not going to be 10. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make sure that our gear is uh, set up for killing with a shotgun. All right, we are now swapped to all arc armor. This is going to be for your shotguns. We put shotgun scavenger and every perk for shotguns that we could do. I do not have all the Season of the Dawn mods, so unfortunately I can't do the infinite ammo for shotguns, but we're going to do the best that we can. Now there are three spots you can go to farm out kills as much as you want. First one being the Whisper of the Worm mission. The downside with that is it takes you about two to four minutes, depending on who you are, to get to the mission spot, and then you have about 18 to... 16 minutes to complete as many kills as you can. The second spot that a lot of people like to go to are going to be things like Escalation Protocol. Uh, those are pretty good for it, but we're going to go to the Castellum in the Leviathan Raid. There it is. Don't worry, all the creatures here are 750. This means that you should have no trouble beating down all these Cabal with very little effort. Now they do come in a large wave, so we'll address that as we get there. Alright, this is your first time here on the Leviathan Raid. Just ignore these guys here. They won't fire if you don't. But if you want to just go ahead and bang out a couple kills real fast, you definitely can. The loadout we're using today is the Dire Promise, along with a Seraph shotgun and the tractor cannon for our exotic. This thing is really good at booping out large groups that are close by. And I really like the Seraph shotgun. I feel like it hits just as hard as many of the aggressive frames. These guys won't shoot either unless you fire at them, so let them be, and just follow the path to the left. At the end of this, you're going to just U-turn to the right, and you'll be in the cast form. Now when you're in here, there's three spots that the uh, Cabal are going to spawn non-stop. It could be that down there, it could be up here, but it looks like for us, it's going to be on the third plate. 
but it's come all the way around to the other side. And let's start farming our shotgun kills. But you gotta actually hit your target. Take a moment to reload down here. And back at it. Ooh, there's that dreadful shot. <laughs> And we get to practice using the uh, Antaeus Ward, so big win there. So this is our main flag, and now they will come non-stop. We ran out of ammo, so we're just going to get a couple kills here. And hopefully build up some more. Yeah, looks like we're good now. Yeah, we're going down, but looks like we get to put a little bit of effort into that. So let's see how far we got. All right, so we were able to get 1% so far with getting maybe... 10 kills. I don't feel like we got a ton of them, but we definitely made some progress. Uh, which leads me to believe we're about a thousand kills is how much you're going to need. So this is going to take some time. Collapse are going to be helpful. And staying alive could be very helpful too. <laughs> so let's use our booper. We got two on that one. Slide into this. Quite a few there. Reload the cartridge and we'll wait for another grouping. Alright, and that's pretty much all the steps that you have to do. It looks like just continue grinding out those shotgun kills. It doesn't matter whether you're in PvE or PvP, but I guarantee you it'll go a lot faster in PvE. The Castleum is still the number one place I can think of to just get infinite kills with a shotgun. If you have armor mods from Season of the Dawn, there are some in there that will continuously give you shotgun ammo so you can actually run three shotguns. Uh, Tractor Cannon is a wonderful option. Lord of Wolves is another option that is wonderful and it goes in your special slot. So if you have those mods, you can probably get a lot more kills a lot quicker uh, just being able to do that. Another pro tip is if you are on your Warlock, using the exotic transversive steps will reload your weapon while you're running. So. It's another amazing option that instead of going to have to hide or swapping to a different shotgun, you can simply just run a little bit and your weapon will reload. Well, as always, thank you for tuning in. If you like what you saw, please leave us a like. If you'd like to see more content, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to flick the ding dong right next to it. That way you're alerted of all of our future content. As always, your viewership is good enough for me and I'll talk to you guardians tomorrow.